Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy. Peter from Sweden asked me a question the other day. I noticed that Logic saves deleted audio files in the audio files folder, and this makes the projects far heavier or larger than they should be. How do I get rid of audio files that are no longer in use? So this is a great question, um, and I actually get asked this pretty often. Here's a Logic uh, project folder here. If I right click on it and say get info, you'll see that the size of my uh, session is 3.62 gigs. That's pretty huge uh, if you start, you know, if, if you have a whole album you're recording or you have a lot of different projects sitting on your computer, um, that can take up a lot of space. So I'm gonna show you two things in this video. One, how to consolidate your Logic projects, which moves all of the data and files over into the Logic project. And two, I'll show you how to clean up your Logic projects and get rid of any unused files that are making your project larger than it has to be. Now, I highly recommend that you only do this after you're done with the writing and recording st and editing stage of your project. I don't want to delete an audio file that I may want to use later while I'm editing. So the first thing I wanna show you is the consolidate uh, feature. It's just under File, Project Management, Consolidate. Now, what Consolidate does is it copies over any audio files, EXS24 instruments, uh, Alchemy data, if there is any, Ultrabeat samples, Space Designer impulse responses, movie files, if there are any, and also any Apple Sound Library content, so it's loops and things like that. And what this does is it pushes all of this information into the root folder of the project. Now, this is important for a couple of reasons. One, if you move this session from one computer over to another, like let's say you, you're the one who recorded and edited the project, but someone else is going to be mixing it and mastering it. Well, you're gonna to wanna to do this before you move this project anywhere because some of these files may not show up on the other person's computer when they go to try to mix your song. Typically, consolidating your project is actually gonna make it a little bit bigger depending on how much information, how many files you are consolidating into the folder, but we'll deal with that next. So I'll go back up to File, Project Management, and we'll use the Clean Up option. Now what this does is it deletes unused files or alternatives of a project. So you can delete unused files, you can delete your backup files, and you can delete media browser files. So this is only deleting things that aren't actively being used in your session. So things like hidden tracks, if you have some audio on a hidden track, that's still considered, even though it's not active, it's still active in your session, in your project. So hidden tracks aren't going to get deleted if you have like a take folder still, all of your takes in the take folder will still be there. Now, if you want to get rid of all your unused takes, you wanna make sure you go back and you consolidate your take folders. When you consolidate the take folder into a new audio file, all of the takes are no longer in the folder, so therefore those takes will be deleted when you do this. So just keep this in mind. So I'll just hit okay. And it gives us a list of all the files that are not being used. I just hit okay, and what it does is it deletes those files. Now if I go back to my finder here, and let's check out what the size of our project is now. 3.43 gigs, well, still kind of big. Let's try this a different way. So this is a little trick I learned when using earlier versions of Logic, because I remember having a Mac at one point with only like a 128 gig hard drive. So up here in the browser, under the project tab, what you can do is you can select the edit tab and then you can go down to select unused. And you'll notice that it still selects some other files that are not being used. I don't know why Logic's cleanup function doesn't delete as many files as it should. I think it's just kind of playing it safe. This is a way to really get rid of a lot of files that you're not using. Don't accidentally select used because then you'll select the ones that are actually in your session. So select unused. And then what you can do is go over to audio file, delete files. And it'll say you're about to delete 108 audio files from the hard disk. So hit delete, and there we go. Now the session will play back just the same as it did before because I haven't deleted anything that's actually being used in the project. So the session plays just fine. Let's go back and check our finder again and let's see if we've reduced the size of the whole project folder. 
there we go, 2.16 gigs. So we've trimmed off one and a half gigs of wasted space just by using that select unused and then delete files function in the project browser. So that's two different ways that you can clean up your uh, project in, and optimize your files and logic. And then also uh, that's how you can consolidate your project. I highly recommend that you consolidate first, then go back and clean up. So again, I can't emphasize this enough. You really, really want to wait until you're done recording and editing and maybe even getting into mixing before you do this, because if you do this too early, you may accidentally delete something that you decide later that you want to go back and use. Like, you know, that seventh guitar solo take that you remember was really a lot better than the one that's currently in your mix. Well, you can't go back and get it anymore because you cleaned up your project and it's no longer there. So just keep that in mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. You can also check me out on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. And if you like, you can also become a patron of the channel over at patreon.com forward slash music tech help guy, uh, where I will be releasing videos uh, early. Some videos I'll be releasing early. Some videos I just do day of and I post them right after I edit them. Uh, but some of the ones that I'm going to be doing early, I'll be posting at least a day early, if not several days early over at uh, patreon.com forward slash music tech help guy. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.